Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Janome Skyline S6. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin and how to thread your sewing machine. So to start with, when you go to unthread your sewing machine, snip the thread up here by the spool and pull the excess out at the needle, making sure that your presser foot is up. The reason we do that is so that you don't pull your thread backwards through your machine because that could cause lint and stuff to build up in your tension disc. So remember, snip here, pull out here. Okay, so to do a bobbin, take our thread. Now, first of all, when you put your thread on here, it's going to spiral off the end, so we want to have our thread coming from underneath. So put that on there. Put the spool cap on, the appropriate size of spool cap. This is the small one for the small spool. And then I like to give it a little bit of uh, space there just so that these cross-wound threads, uh, when they start to empty, sometimes they like to turn a little bit. So I like to give a little bit of space for that. Now for bobbin winding, we're gonna follow the dotted line path right here. So we go under these little ears here to the right of that metal piece there and pull that forward so you can hear that little click. Then we go around to the back, right here where it says, where it shows you the picture of the bobbin, right back this way. And then, this is how I like to do my bobbin. I put the thread tail from inside to outside through the side of the bobbin. Then we're gonna put that right there, like that. Now this is not a, um, this is a cutter, not a thread guide, so make sure you don't put your thread behind that because it will cut off the thread on purpose. Okay, so you leave about, oh, six inches or so of thread tail, making sure it's coming up from that hole there. Push this over to the right, and then right here you can see that means that we're ready to wind our bobbin. And if you're using start-stop button, you would use this, but if you have your foot control connected, just simply push down on the pedal. I'm hanging onto that thread tail for several wraps here, like that. And what that does is it anchors the beginning of the thread underneath those wraps of thread that it's putting on there. When it gets to be enough, you just snip that little tail off and keep winding your bobbin. Now, I'm just gonna wind a little bit, but if I was gonna wind a full bobbin, the wraps of thread would push against this little stopper here, which would cause it to stop winding, and that keeps it from winding too full. So, we take this off of here, cut our thread right back there, and then to put your bobbin in, this little button back here, we push that to the right and take out our bobbin the one that's already in there. I'll show you how to put this one in. Now put your bobbin in so that the thread tail comes off the left. It kind of looks like the letter P. So we put that down there, put the thread underneath this metal piece right here, hang on to your bobbin, pull the thread towards the back and around to where it says two. There's a little cutter right there. Now there's also a picture on the cover showing you what I just showed you here. So that's a good reference right there. Then put your cover right back on like that and that part's ready to go. You do not need to pull up your bobbin thread. You can if you want to, but you don't need to as long as you pull it all the way around from one to two right there. Okay, so to thread the top thread, again, I'll show you again. You start with thread coming underneath these plastic pieces and then into the right of that metal piece. Give it a little pull so you can hear that click. Come down here. And of course, always make sure that you have your presser foot up because that helps the thread seat into that uh, tension disc area. And just follow the numbers. Here's three, four, is right around there like that. And that puts it into the take up lever. Pull this down to five. And that is, I usually like to use two hands. I'm going behind this little hook down here. Then there's another little hook right on the needle bar guide. Again, two-handed to get it up there. So that'd be five, which is this one, six is this one, seven, right there. So we go above this. Then we bring it over here to the cutter on the side. Now what this does is it gets it ready to thread the needle. So we push down on this needle threader lever and the needle is threaded right there. Very easy. 
So that is threading and bobbin winding on the Janome Skyline S6. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos here on our Montevilla YouTube channel, so keep watching. See you later. Bye.